Hello, everybody. I was thinking that I have something to show you, and my little helper here, Maverick, would also like to help teach you something. Right, Maverick? Can you say hello? I say. He likes to be outside. The uh, 67 Impala here has a vacuum leak. I've already figured out what it is, and I got the part. But I'm going to show you how to test for a vacuum leak. And uh, it's actually pretty simple. All you need is uh, some carb cleaner or some brake clean or something that's flammable that's in an aerosol spray can. Okay, so with the vehicle running, you're going to take your brake clean and you're just going to spray where you think the vacuum leak is and you're going to listen. So just uh, listen to what happens. That'll happen when you hit the vacuum leak. So, you know, if you spray somewhere where there's not a vacuum leak, obviously nothing's going to happen. So that bottom gasket, fine. Uh, it's this one above the little riser there that's not okay. And you can see when I spray, the gasket's in there. All right, so I took the carburetor off, and I took this thing off. I already put it back on, but this gasket's okay. But if I lift the carburetor up, you can see this gasket's kind of marred up in a couple places. So we're going to replace that and retest. Ooh, look at that right there. Yeah. All right, let's replace that. All right, so I replaced that gasket between the carburetor and the uh, and the spacer, and so it's on high idle right now because I just started it and it's cold. So let's kick it down and spray it with brake clean and see what happens. Here. We'll skip that part, <laughs> or we have to let it warm up. All right. Now there's no change. Vacuum leak fixed. So now that I fixed that, I'll go back through. I'll check my timing, and I'll uh, tune the carburetor after it's warmed up. Take it for a test drive, make sure everything's going well. Uh, so anyway, that's how you find a vacuum leak. At least, you know, a simple way of finding. It's easier on these older cars than on the newer ones. But there you go. You could just use brake clean. And then it'll tell you where it is and where to start looking. And then you can take things apart and inspect your seals, gaskets, stuff like that. And uh, there you go. I hope you learned something. Have a nice day.